Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie from Cascade Valley Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the right image and um, text preview for the pages and posts that you want to share on social network platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I know how frustrating it can be when you change a photo out or um, when you're sharing uh, your page or post or event and it doesn't show the right information. Um, so these platforms have developed some tools to help us with that, uh, but they're not really readily known. So I'm gonna share those with you today. Um, the first one is of course Facebook and this is called their debugging tool. So if you, um, if you look up uh, Facebook debugger tool in uh, Google, you'll find this. So what you're going to do, and I'm going to put the links in the show notes too, or down below the video. Put the link in the debug field. Click debug. I'm going to use my newest post for these. Um, now there's nothing there because I haven't shared it yet, which is fine. This can be an old page that's been around a long time, and maybe you've updated it. You've updated the picture, and you want um, Facebook to grab it. Um, you're going to use the same tool, whether it's new or old. Um, and what it does is it goes back and it, it scrapes the information on that page and fetches it. Because Facebook doesn't know, or any of these platforms don't know that you've changed anything. And so they're going to keep the memory um, instead of like going back to go, you know, with every new link. Um, they take the latest, um, the last um uh, you know, preview that they've had and use it until you tell them otherwise. So that's what this tool does. So um, I'm going to go ahead and fetch the new information. And in a few seconds, it will show me the picture. And there we go. There's the picture. And here's the title. Sometimes it will show the description, um, which I have here. So depending on where you're sharing it, where you're viewing it in Facebook, if it has room, it will show the description as well. But more important to me is that it's got the correct image and the correct title, and now I can go share it in Facebook. So with um, LinkedIn, oh, one more thing um, is if you if you just changed um, the picture or title and it's not showing up correctly, click scrape again. And then if it's still not showing up correctly, wait a few seconds, scrape again. So keep doing that until you find the correct, until it, it goes out there and grabs the correct image and information. Um, I have done this too many times though, and then they've kind of shut down that link. So I wouldn't do it more than four times. It just pause in between. Um, and after about four times, if it still hasn't recognized the new information, which it should, um, then I would come back a little bit later. Okay, so LinkedIn. For a while on LinkedIn, I didn't even know they had this. And I've, I've helped clients um, post things on LinkedIn. And um, we've changed the image. And I thought there was nothing we could do about it. So... Um, I was so thrilled to find this post inspector tool. Um, they all have different names for their scraping or debugging tools. So once again, use this for a new link um, or, or an old one that you've just updated. And you know, I think it's a good um, step in your final, the final steps in your process before you do share on these platforms to check your link in these, just to make sure it's going to look correct um, before before you share it everywhere or ask people to share it right so that looks good um, I they don't have any sort of scrape again tool I think you have to keep hitting this if it's not showing up correctly Twitter it's called a card val validator because that little um, that little preview they have with the uh, picture and um, and the title um, is they call them Twitter cards. So you're going to put that here. Preview card. And you can do this to any link. It's not just your own, but any link before you share it. So this is now this one was able to pull up my um, this one was able to pull up correctly or pull up my description, but it does cut off my title. So just kind of keep that in mind. You might want to keep your titles a little bit shorter, but um, it's okay because I have the title in the image as well. Now, um, 
something I realized about the Twitter card is that it takes the title of your page. So for example, on a home page, um, you might just have home, which is not a good idea to have on your home page. You want to optimize it uh, for the search engines. Um, you might have home in the title, but down in the SEO part, like maybe you have Yoast SEO loaded onto your WordPress, you might have changed the page title. Twitter will actually take your actual page title. So it is good to test to see where it's pulling the title from. Um, so I found that out the hard way and I had, you know, I changed my actual page titles um, instead of using the Yoast plugin for that particular purpose. So um, I hope these tools have helped you and happy sharing. Let me know if you have any questions about using these tools um, and I hope it helped.